Okay, this is the real time of how long it takes and what I do to reroute the Barbie doll's hair from this Barbie. I love this Barbie though, but it's got to come from it to put on this one. God. Okay. Here we go. This is what it does. And it, trying to make sure the camera sees it as well. So, there we go. Get yourself a piece. Uh, it's kind of thick, but it'll do. I guess I like to swirl it around, get to the ends. Sometimes you got to get away. Okay. To put it through the needle's hole. Patience and discipline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can see that. Okay, well, I don't know, hopefully that gets all together. What I'm going to do is go to the middle, right here. I'm going to have to start right here and create a new hole for it. I'm creating a new hole because... Um, I want it to be thicker in the middle. Let's cover it up with the clippy thingy. And here we go. As you can see, it's upside down. And you pull it through the hole of the neck. Grab the other end. Okay. And then you tie this, tie this knot, once you get it through, as you can tell, as you can see, if you can see it, mm. there's a knot, it's not big enough of a knot, so I'm going to we're just making another one because it didn't fully go through the needle and everything. So, ugh, didn't even make a bigger. That hole should be together. So, I'm going to tie another knot to put the whole entire knot together. Hopefully, that knot will go all conjunct together. Okay, there's the knot. And I'm gonna cut off the excess part. There we go. Keeping the knot though. And here we go, pulling the other end through. Ta da! Oh. Where's the access? Mistake. But still, I went through. See, now it's littler because I didn't go through the needle hole all the way. Okay. More time wasting. Trying to get this. Picking a piece. One by one of the holes. Okay. I'm gonna use this piece thick. 
Hopefully, I get this through. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Trying to get it all the way through the hole, but it's not all going. No, there it goes. Goody. Yeah, I got it through the needle now. Okay, here we go. Okay. There's the middle. Okay. Lining the needle up with the extra hole. Right here, as so. See that? And... Punching it through. Sometimes it gets stuck on... I don't make a hole probably do the, the place where I don't want it to make a hole. I can't see it. Yeah. So I have to pull it out a little bit. Get it to come through the hole instead of poke through the face or something. Because I think that's what it's doing. Oh, there it comes. There it is. It's coming through the hole. So I grab it because it's strong, as you can see. Mm. <sighs> and I'll grab this. Get that. This part, I'm going to tie a whole knot. You know, the knot there. There you go. Cut off the access. The knot still remains. Okay. And I pull this through. Cut off. And it sticks and stays. And soon it will be filled. Okay, next step is trying to make sure the part is covered and it's parted, see? There's a little extra space in the hole. I could use, just fill it up with one or two more to cover it up if I need to. Making sure this the part's even and it's co covering the head. In the middle, first I just do the whole entire middle. You know, two sides, one here, one there, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then I get to the back. And then I start filling it up from the front of the head, just right here on the outline. Go all the way around. And maybe, maybe like a couple of um, four of them on the sides, right there, underneath the part, if I have enough room, because inside, as you can see, there is, sometimes it clots, and you just have to stuff it in there, 
for the neck to, so it can fit on the neck, you know. But we'll see. Be more filled in them after a while. Okay, here's one of the most annoying things that happens during rerouting the Barbie doll's hair. Okay, when you pull it through, sometimes it gets caught onto other knots. And you have to take it out or somehow it gets, it goes through a, you have to un, see that? It's inside of a, a knot that was next to it. Now I have to pull this off here, slide it off somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's all messed up. There. As you can see, I freed it on that side, but it's still happening on this side, so I'm trying to pull half of it through so it won't all the way come um, through this side, so I won't have to redo it. And I have to separate the sides from the side, like, you know, the loop strands, one loop strand, the other, and I can't tell because they're both even on this end of the tail, I'm trying to separate the loop strands so I could pull one side through and leave the other. That's the other side. I'm not sure which one's what. Hmm. So if I get the shorter end, or the other longer end is what I'm holding on to. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Separating this from one of the strands. So there's what's left on this end. Also, I need to start pulling this strand out wherever it came from. I don't know. But first, I need to go ahead and undo the. Seems to be like not separating. And it made a mess and it took out so much more of the strand. So it left the tail like this. So I might as well just tie neither one. Okay, to find the other one, I'll just pull some of it out. See what's coming. Can't find it. I'll just go through the root. And pull on each little root. See if it's any of these. Nope. I can't tell where it's coming from. So, screw it. I'll just tie these two together. How about that? Just make it all one equal knot and hope that it doesn't mess it up. So, oh well, there we go. Tied that together. Now I can just go ahead, pull one in there. I want one, and here's Wherever the other one is, I'm not sure. Mm -mm. So it just wastes all the time doing them. So, oh, here it is. Found it. Here is the strand. Just pull and yank. Must be part of it. 
Make sure that comes out. Now there's a little strands, these right there. So I cut these extra pieces off the part. Okay. And just keep on going. With the part in the middle. Okay, time for the next experiment. I mean, not experiment. Rerooting of the hair. I'm rerooting this one. I love this color. It's wet right now, so you can't really tell. It's got like this grayish tint to this hair. I love the face. She's so beautiful. I love this body, but that's not her original body, but I'm making her body like that. This was her original body. But I, it broke, and there's no way to fix it because there's no screw to undo the body to get a new head. So I'm going to put her on this, even though it's cooler. I might take this off and just make it whatever. So I want it to have black, long, straight hair. So that's what I wanted to do. That's what I'm going to do um, for this. Yep. Just do the same thing. Okay, this is it. I got to sh Okay, I'm going to show you. This is going to be the body now, so it's neat. I like the hair, but it's time to change it. So this is how you're going to do it. Stupid hair. I don't like this type. I love the color of this hair, but it's like dry and dumb and half of it's short in the back and it's long in the front. What idiots. We've got this hair is more flimsy and like loose and straight and you can actually blow dry this hair. Um... And it doesn't, and it doesn't like crimp up all coarsey like, but, and it like, look, it's the best type of hair. I don't know where it's from, like the 80s, whatever. The Totally Hair Barbie has the best hair, not the new version of Totally Hair Barbie. The new version of Totally Hair Barbie has this type of bullshit that can um, burn easily and um, frizz easily. And it's dumb. So, hate it, so I'm going to change it out with this, because I love it to be longer and better. I don't want to waste this face. It's really good looking eyebrows and stuff, and it's an ethnic Barbie, and I love ethnic. And it's so cool. So, what you do is you go ahead and cut it. Yeah. From the root. Start from the root. No turning back now. So you get all this cut off. And after you do that, you're going to want to pull the roots out if you can with this. I'm inside the neck and get those roots to come out. You wiggle it around until the roots get sucked into the head. You grab onto the roots and pull them out. And most of it will come out like this, you know? See, and then you work on that for a bit until it's all, you know. Here we go, I got it all finished, I guess, most of it. You know, you can still leave like tiny hairs in it, but oh well, and it can still work, whatever. Get your needle, just type a needle. Get your donor, 
What about this pick of hair? Cut it, maybe lick it. Whatever, get it wet, dip it in water, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use that and then put your needle in there. Got your needle in there. You know, yeah. Well, even now, I'm going to start from the middle of the head because I like the middle. Split in the middle style the best. So I get it. Stick that in the hole, see? And then I point it down to the throat. <laughs> and I get the clippers. And I go down like this. I pull it. I get a hold of the hair on the top that I want to keep on the outside and I pull the one that I want to not really have to be shown. I want the roots to be this one so I pull that out. I want this one to be on the top, and this one to be in the room. Okay. There we go. So I have it like this. Let me see. And I tie the knot where the neck is. This whole, this knot in the knot. Okay. As you can see, I'm gonna make sure it's near the end, much as possible. Tie it. Okay, you want to cover up the the knot with your finger now, if you, and then hold it and cut. You know. The access off, and you have this. You want to pull this through, and see, there you go. It sticks, it stays, and now you have a rerooted Barbie doll's hair. Just keep on going with the process. Well, let's do the first two. <laughs> part in the middle on the other side make sure it's in the middle oops okay uh, and just keep on keep on keep on going and tie the knot. Make sure it's at the very end. 
want that much access to this one. I cut it anyways to make sure. Trim that part. And we got the other side. Voila. It sticks and stays. And then continue all down the middle and over the sides. Maybe you want a double layer on the sides. Maybe you want a double layer in the middle. You know, just keep on going down the middle. Maybe, you know, spread it out some more a little bit somehow till it covers it. We'll see how much it will need. Maybe I can take this jacket off this one and put this on this because it looks weird because the, the dress is gone because I didn't really want that dress to be on this particular one plus it I want it to be more loose bodied and solid maybe it would look good with this jacket or I don't know maybe I can use this thing. I have to take this off probably to get this see-through plastic skirt part off, which would be really cool. It's pretty hard to get off. Unless I took the head off, it'd be easier. Mm. Well, I'll be back with this, trying to get this plastic off. Here we go. Still filling it up. Still going for it. And then, yep. I'm going to do a few more. Maybe one more. And I'll be done. So I can just get this over with. But hell yes, hell yes, finally got this how I wanted it. Hell yes, I've been wanting to do this for years, or maybe years, I don't know, a couple of years maybe, ever since I got it. Mmm, we been wanting to change it for so bad. One side, and then the other side, and it'll be enough to cover the back of its head from this beautiful Barbie, really good Barbie. Her name is um, Kira, I think her name is, something like that. Kira, I can't remember right now. I'm just thinking about this, getting over with. Next, Ooh. yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to get this in the camera. This is awesome. This will be the last part. I'm just feel like doing because it'll be fine. I'll be able to cover it up. Oh, Whatever. Oh, come on with it. Get through. Okay. This part to stay out, and this part to go in. So, ta-da! Wa-la-la, the very last one. 
Okay. Okay. As you can see. Tying the knot. The one that's connected to the neck. Hold. And here we go with this. I'm going to get this needle. Pull it through like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut the edge off. Put put your finger over that with your nail and cut it. And throw that far away. And pull this side out. Pull that in. And, and here's this one. Still working on it. Still working on this one. Oh, there you go. There you go. And the reveal. Hell yes. I might keep these on, put them back on, but just keep it down or something. Yes. It totally covers it. Mm hmm. And there she is. One hot mama. Groovy, so beautiful. But I'm naming her something else. Um, uh, her name's gonna be, um, Jenny Calendar, maybe? Or Drusilla, like from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, which is a psychic vampire, and she's a Pisces. So, hell yes, just whatever. I'll try these clippers to get a hold of this neck and try to twist this off, but I have to soak this in water to get the glue loosened or I will break it off and that'd be annoying. Finally, I just want to see if I should commit to this. Look, I pierced this one's nose. This is for Drew Barrymore. This character from Poison Ivy because I really liked it. So I put this on this one. So I'm going to just take this off this one. And it did take me a long time to get on this. Just so I can sample this, see what the sample it looks like, and I'll just put it back on. Just to see if I want to really commit to it, because that'll probably take a long time to take her head off. Well, actually, I guess I will commit to taking her head off, because this is taking too long. It took me a really long time to fit this on here. That's cool. I just want it to be on here. Should I put it on there, which is yellow and dark blue? I'm not sure if I would want to do that. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'll just, I'll just leave it like this. We're using, this is what you do using hot running water, you know? And then you either soak it or just deal with hurrying it up and Pulling it off or something. Twisting it. Getting the pliers. And hurrying up with it. Grabbing its neck. And twisting it and twisting it. Maybe I'll get it loose carefully instead of loose like what I'm doing. Kind of just probably gonna ruin it. It's working, I think. That's good. 
loose as you can see pull this sucker off and it might pop off or I might twist and oh there goes her hair Ugh, so I'll probably have to reword this one's hair great I not care and just like twist it off like that and there you go see the leftovers in there and it's broken uh, don't care. I already have another one of this for one. It's pretty. Mm, I don't know. I'm rereading on different ones. Here, I didn't need this one anyways. I already have another one just like this. As you can tell, the, I have that other piece of plastic on that other one. And it's still okay. It doesn't have the piece of plastic. Which I'm going to use for this one. Right up. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Real. Yay. It's coming off. It came off. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. What I'm going to do is take her head off. And then put this on here. Like a shirt. And obviously stick it through. Do you think this is going to look okay? I mean, it's cool, but it's not the same colors. It's just fine. I like two different colored things, but. I wish it was like a freaking see-through blue color. I do have some plastic. Oh, it fits. Real simple. Does that look okay? I don't really know. I mean, it looks cool, I guess. Perfect! Dun 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 Here's the Barbie doll's hair donor head. Thank you. And this is the other one. I'm keeping it in pigtails to separate the two so I can keep it parted. And there's my sort of zigzag looking part. Just to part it. And there's the rest I have to fill up. And I'm going to fill up. Yeah, it's coming together. I put more layers on the hair. I'm going back and forth until I fill it up from side to side. Here, at least like six around here, and then six around here. Maybe until it goes all over in a ring around, back and forth. I decide. That makes any sense. Just fill it up. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna name her Blair, like the Blair Witch. Groovy, huh? So that's her name, Blair Witch. <laughs> 